everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to carry on with programmable drones from Pneumaticraft Repressurized. And thank you very much Desh for giving me these tips. One tip is to put a chest with the programming pieces inside it beside the programmer. The puzzle pieces and you'll be able to clear your inventory out. So let's get started. Right, I'd like to work on the farmer again. The first, another tip from Dash is we can put some more dispenser upgrades into the uh, drone. So let's put some drones into this one here and upgrades into this, and then it'll give a larger inventory. So I've got in here some a life upgrade so that it will repair itself in case of damage it, and some range upgrades. I'm not sure if I need range upgrades for this particular um, drone, but anyway, I've got them in. I can always reuse them for something else, and I've got a magnetic upgrade for pulling the pieces out, which is fine. In fact, I think the pressure's just going up a little bit because it's a bit out, but it doesn't matter very much. We don't need that for today. We have plenty of pressure to do what we want. So now what I want to do with this one, let's put it in here. It probably already has a program in. Nope, it's empty there. I cleared it off. What I want to do is I would like to take a program that we have last time, this one here, and move it onto the screen here. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to put a, a network API program into this, into here like that. And then we can push this into into here. And that should remove the puzzle pieces out of here. I've also got these, I'll take these out of here before I start. And you'll store those in here. So what I'm going to do, now this is stored in here, what I'm going to do is modify this program a little bit. Because one of the things that's not happening is it's not harvesting the barley. I'm just right. I'm just scrolling the mouse button down in this case. And this program's a little bit long, and I'd like to make it a little bit shorter. So if I scroll it a little bit more, that's it. If I take this piece here out of here and bring it up, then we get a little bit more space to work with. So one of the things we can do is we can have jumps. So let's put a jump in here. So we have a label. That's it. That's basically where things go to. And we also have a jump, which is this one. So if I jump down here, for example, and I come up to this one here, so if I take this one here, bring it down, and one thing you can't do is if this piece was, for example, on the top, oops, try again, if this piece is up here like this, it disappears. <laughs> so I didn't want to do that. So I can undo that change like that, which is fine. Now what we need to do, these are red, they need a label. So we'll just basically put down a label on the first page here, and here's the text label. So we'll put this label into this position here and give it a value. We'll just say continue one or something like that. Nothing special, just as a name. And then we'll drag middle click this button here, this label, and bring it across and place it into this one here. So the program will then jump between these two. We have a little bit more space to work with. But for example, if I bring this piece down here like that, and then I want to move this piece. If I drag this piece here, it'll actually it does the whole screen. And that's because it's not in the complete puzzle pieces, not on the window. In this, this case, we can drag it up. So you've got to watch that. It was confused me last time, I did notice. So what we now want to do is to take another thing. We want to right click um, the barley, because the barley belongs to Matura. So let's, for example, take out uh, out of here a piece for doing the right clicking, and it's this piece here, right click block. So we can just simply drag that onto here like this, put this down, well, let's put it, say, down between these two here. Let's just take those out of the way. Let's bring it out of the way so I'm sure I've got it in the right place like that. And then put it into here like this. And I'm going to use the same area to start with. Like this again, I'll middle click drag that. No, nope, wrong one. Let's just throw that away. Let's take the one I want to do. So, the picking up pieces here. So, I want to do it like this. I might want to move this about a bit. We'll see. So, that'll do. And we can then put this into this programming network API thing here. So, we'll actually call this one network API. We'll just call it farming just for this time being, just in case we've got multiple. And you can then identify which one it is. So, this should have all the pieces in there that belong to this program. So we can then take this program out of here like that, bring in the drone, and we're going to do something different with this drone. So we're going to clear off this, clear all of it off, and we're going to put in here a, another start piece, of course. We're going to put in a, a special piece. 
we're going to put in it the um, this one external program and it tells you about the external program we'll put that one down there we also need an end a stop piece a standby piece and we'll need an area piece as well so I'm not going to do the area piece like this I'm just going to put these bits together so we we'll just put that like that and put this one on here this one of course is red because it needs an area in order to take the program from or programs so in our case we're, the one we're going to use is the actual program itself so here I've got these two pieces here which one is this has got a small area I'm going to use this one so I'm going to reprogram this one so I'm going to right shift right click the oh it's actually already done and le left click it and it's so left click it and it's specified this block here you can see easily that it's going to take the program from the inventory so now we come back on here I'll make sure we don't right click it so we just bring this one up here and put it oops right I'm holding that I'm holding down the shift and dragging it that's not correct I just need to hold it and then right click it here no left left click it there and it actually puts the program the area in here so it's going to do this box so it's going to run this program here um, that's right we'll, we'll call this something else, slightly extra we'll call it pharma ex external for the time being and program that into there so this has now got this new program in we'll have a look in here we'll just see that this has now got this is the first time I've used a purple programming piece so that is you can see it was into there like that so now we should be able to put this down and see what it does ah uh, yep let's put it down there and wait a few seconds I've got a hoe in here I hope yes I've got a hoe in there at the moment it's doing nothing because I haven't got the network API in here so let's put the network API in here to like that and then it starts to work and as you can see it's now harvesting the harvesting the crops and because it's got the extra uh, dispense upgrade it's given it's got an extra piece now what it's doing now is it's right clicking all of the crops we actually don't really want it to do that so let's first of all see that's right clicking the barley as we hope it would do and when it's finished right clicking this it should come along and it should start to pick up the bits as you can see it started to pick up bits and it fills the entry. In fact, what it's doing is also picking up the bits and right clicking at the same time. So that's not quite right. So let's fix that. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to spe you've got two choices. We can specify a new area. So let's take this one here. Oh, that's a very big area over there. Let's, let's right click this one here like that. And then lift, left click this one here like that. And I actually don't want that. I just want to do the barley, don't I? that so we could use this area for the barley uh, for the right clicking let's see what happens when that when we do that so the the programs the drone is still running we can simply come along here and we can take the oh, we need the we need the program for the network api and i'll scroll this a bit smaller so we can see it if i can scroll this it sometimes doesn't work but it is now so we've got this smaller area here so let's put this onto the right click button so we take this and we simply left click this again and it will replace the position here with the new positions so now it's not going to right click the whole of this area I hope in fact it is right clicking the heart maybe it has to go through the program cycle before it starts to do what we're actually hoping it to do let's to wait a few seconds as you can see it's still right clicking the whole thing I but the reason it's right clicking the whole thing of course is because I haven't reprogrammed this new bit in here so let's export this program to the API and see what happens now. Well, it seems still to be right clicking everything. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this program out of here, the network API, and it stops. So, let's put it back in again. It definitely will should get the new program in. So let's see what it's going to do now. It's going to go along here. And this time it looks like it's just right clicking the barley, but that's also not what we want. We just want to right click barley when it's fully grown. So let's fix that as well. So let's take along here. We need an item filter for the right clicking here. So let's take this item filter here and put it onto this here and specify barley in here. So let's have a look. Search for barley. And 
and this is the one we've actually got to, the Natura one. So we can simply select that one, press escape, and I think that'll do because it will actually drop an item. So we don't need to put this match by block because it always drops a, a barley when it's fully grown. Okay, so now that's that completed. So all we have to do then is write that to there, and hopefully it's not going to start going through the whole of this now. We'll see. So this time it's gone to sleep because there's no barley here. Let's go and bone meal this barley. Have I got some bone meal in here? Yes, I have good. Let's and see what happens when I bone meal this barley up. Fully grown. So it should come along here and right click this barley after a few seconds. It says. I'll also barley this up. Do the, do the, do the wheat and see what he does now. So it's gone to sleep. So maybe I've got this program slightly wrong. Let's just double check that here. And it will say using metadata and ignoring MBT. Well, let's just ignore the metadata as well. And then click this into here and see if it does anything. No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, yes, it does. It just took a few seconds. And sure enough, it's now started to pick up the barley and put it back again. So basically, that's it. So the program's now working as we want it to. And of course, all we need to do now is to take this drone, which we can shift right click here. And it dropped all its inventories out. And I just right click that chest. Let's just move the chest around again. And it's probably put it all in my forestry bag. So let's just take the forestry bag here. Have a look at this one. What have we picked up? We've probably picked up these items in here, I guess. 20 by, because I don't have any other uses for those. In fact, this is getting a little bit full. In fact, I can't put the barley into there. That's why the barley was staying, of course, because this is already filled up with barley and seeds. So, that, so there was no space. So I was wondering why the drone was keeping those things in its hand. So there's an answer to that one. So now we have this program finished, we can actually reprogram this. So we can take this out of here, of course. Take the drone. Where's the drone gone to? I need to. I think I picked him up, didn't I? I should have done. Oh, there he is. Picked him up now. Make sure we've got the. Oh, I see. We've got the. The two um, hose aren't in there, so I should have picked up this now. Uh, it's because I haven't got. Yes, I've got my stuff on. So now we'll just take this drone where it's gone to. Here we are, farmer. Let's program this, put this back in again and change the name. Of course, we'll just change the name to Farmer. Set, set that up. So now it's done. It's got all the pieces in, so I can just leave this program. So that's how you can build up your program. So I'll shift right click it onto there like that. And it should drop down when it's ready because it's got nothing to do at the moment until something grows. So that's that part done. Next, I was going to have a look at let's do something slightly different what i want to do is i'll bring these with me have i got a space inventory no i haven't i'll come back in a few seconds with a bit more space and the last part of this episode is going to be clearing away this stuff we developed the program last time with this digging drone so let's do the same thing again so let's put the digging drone into the i've got the programmer here so let's put the programmer here so what's in this chest empty good i'm going to put the programmer down beside it and then we can put this, the pieces into there. So that's, I think this is everything we want to put into that, like that. Give it a quick sort. I want, don't want the chest. Look, but give it a quick sort. So we've got our 13, so that's 9 plus 4. So that's all of the pieces. I'm a little bit short on area programming pieces, as you can see. I said they would go down fairly quickly. But the, the item filters are, are fairly good at the moment. And we've got two left, but I think this has already got a program in this digger. So let's have a look at this. So we have digger. So let's export the program here so we can see it and right down scroll this mouse so we can actually see what it's going to do. So we can bring it up to center so we, that looks like a sensible program. Let's give it a test. Again we'll do the same thing as we did last time. I'm going to put this one, this program, into a um, network API thing. Oops, I keep from remembering that I mustn't hold the mouse button down when I'm doing that. I don't need to drag it. So let's first of all create this network API thing for farming. Let's just call it network I just let's call it network API again. 
Um, digging, let's do digging. And then put this into here. I want to do that. The extra pieces will come back into the chest here. So as you can see, we only had one green piece last time. So now we've got a lot more green pieces. So what we've got here is it'll go off and it'll dig an area. Now the areas, we need a different area for this. So let's first of all program a different area. I want to do basically around about the, um, where's it gone to? The advanced boiler or the improved blast furnace. So what I want to do is I want to basically click starting. Let's start from here. That's around about the end of where we actually want to do it. So we'll right click this place here and then we'll come over here and we'll go further forward and we'll come along, say, to here. I don't want to go down there. Sometimes what happens if I go down and put a block on there, the actual drone will fall into the water. So let's not do that. So let's just put down a slime block like this. And then we can left click that and it'll fill this area in here so it's going to do harvest this area now there are other things we can do so let's put this area into the program first of all before we do anything else so we want to do that area so this area is going to be where it's going to dig from and it's going to collect from like that it's going to go back into a different chest so let's make sure we're going to put it into the chest the output's going to go into this chest or the collection is going to go into here at the moment i've got the bits in here but that doesn't matter very much so let's just right click then uh, shift right click this one and then left click it like that and that should be the place so if i have the um let's i'm pretty certain it's the place let's put it onto the into the chest here like that so that's we've got that chest so we can then click on this one here right click on it and say show area press escape and you'll see in here we've got the the green block so we know it's going to put the stuff into there so i think that's all we need to do for that one so let's program that into here like this and then we're going to program the this drone again we're going to do, use the same programs we used last time in fact i'll keep a copy of the debug program so we'll, first of all we'll delete everything on here so we want the start piece and we want the debug piece or the external program of course we need to specify what the external program is going to be so we'll take the area block in here no i've got the actual area block already defined in this one so we can put this one here and left click that beside there so that's that area and then we go but put the sleep block at the end of it, or the standby block at the end of it like that and that's our program what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it into this one here which is the farming network data storage program here and we'll have a copy of this and put this into the drone into this first of all we'll save it in there first of all and we'll then put it into the drone as well like that and then we'll come along here and we'll put the, this one back in put it back out again so we can actually see it and just put the drone down and see what it does So he should come up and he should start to dig. Have I saved this program into here? I don't think I have. Let's just do that. Still not doing it. Now, why not? Let's just check these areas here. Select this area here and show the area. Right click it, sorry, show area. Oh, stop showing area, show area. So it's got a good area here, so it should be able to pick up these pieces. That's no problem. Um, this one should be the same area. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, first of all, we have to right click and stop showing the area on this one and come along to this one, show area. So it's the same area as you can see. So it's got a good sized area. And... Ah, oh, yes, of course, I have done some mistake obvious there's no program in here if i take the program out of here like this put this into this chest it should actually start to work because i've got the area so let's right click this one here and uh stop showing the area so as you can see it's going off and it's going to harvest all of this this grass here and it's going to put the, the droppings from the grass 
into this chest. So I basically need to reprogram this to get the correct position for the programmer. So let's do that. This is this one here. So let's left click that and right click it. Oh. So now that's the correct one. Let's take um, the drone. I need the drone to come back. So we'll just take this out of it. Then the drone will come back here, which is good. Then we can pick up the drone. No, I just didn't. What I didn't want to do, of course, I always do that. So this is the yeah, this is the one we've got, which is which is fine for doing what we need to do. So we'll put this. Make sure this is already in the network API. That's fine. So what we want to then do is to take the drone here and export the program and this area is the one we want to change so let's put this area onto there you see we'll just double check so that was I think the one that changes 339 or 371 so it's actually got two positions in this so it'll take the program either from um, the programmer or from the chest which is also actually quite a good thing to do so let's now put this program into the drone take the drone out and then put it down it won't do anything because I've got the network API in my hand here let's put the network API into that slot and it should just simply start there is one thing I could do with this as well and that's put it back onto here so let's do that at the same time as doing this I want this program out of there I'll scroll it down a bit so we have a go to location so let's put a go to location which is um, I think suicide it's something like a, it's a greeny piece I think I'm just not seeing it for the time being here we go now I see it's a cyan piece go to location so let's put this location down here like that we'll put it on the bottom of this and the location we're going to get to we haven't yet specified so let's take one of these much matter which one I want and what I want to do is I want it to go to above this place here so, so if I put down a slime block here try again slime blocks are really good for this stuff because you can simply right click and left click those and you've got the right place straight away and you can break the slime block with no effort at all so we can come along here and then we can put this area piece in here like that and that's all I need to do oops I know one more thing set it into the program and then it should go off and it should go at the end of the thing it should go off to that location it hasn't done but it will do and the next cycle I think I haven't got any fuel in here either well, let's have a look at this this is a little a very simple this is the smallest I've found way of keeping the pressure this has got no pressure in the moment in fact what I need to do here is I want to set this one to low signal which I've got what it will do is it will have a low signal when this has got a low signal which it has at the moment it will actually when it's got fuel it will start to to work like this so we'll put, give it some fuel and then the pressure is going to start increasing you see it gives its little smoky effects here and then we can have a look at this one and this one here i've got a pressure gauge and i've set this to emit a signal when the pressure is more than 10 bar actually 10.5 bar 10 bar will actually do i think let's just Oh no, let's do it 10.1 bar. You can do it with decimal places, it doesn't have to be to half a bar on this. So that when this is going to be five, 10 or more than 10 bar, it's going to emit a redstone signal, which is going to turn it off. So what we can easily do is we can easily put it, let's, let's put this down to two bar for the time being. And now it's got a redstone signal, you see it's not smoking, and then we can put it back again. In fact, before I do that, it'll actually tell you here it's got no problems, but it has actually got a problem. So I'm going to go and fix that. I'll come back in a second with a bit I need. So what we've got one one more thing I've forgotten about. Is if I have the book in my hand and I shift right click something from pneumatic graph and pressurize, it'll open the page on the book so you can see exactly what it's about. So it says in this case that the generator must be cool as an efficient drop in temperature. So that's a, that's also applies to the electric one, which I noticed very significantly. Now we can do that in two ways. We can put a block of um, compressed iron on here, and that gives you a load of faces. On each one of these faces, we can put a, a heat sink. Uh, in fact, I think it tells me that in here as well. So that's the recipe for that. 
and it can be affected by what's it say here you can increase the efficiency of a heat sink by placing it in, in an air grate module the modules range is displayed when you press the pressure tube okay i haven't done that one either but you can also do it this way so we'll look on here so if we can right click that so block of it is an excellent heat conductor and can be used to provide more faces to attach to heat sinks to, to um, heat producing machines so that's great so this makes this run more efficiently so so this is now powered up as you can see it's just over 10 so when the drone comes along next time it will actually land on here and it will hover on top of it when it's finished its cycle it will then put itself down like that so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it i'm actually having a load of fun playing with magnetograph repressurized and thank you dash for all your tips they're great next time well actually between the episodes what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a little villager farm but um next time in my episode i'm going to do magnetograph repressurized armor so until then bye for now